Well, hello again and welcome to the quiet place. We read in the New Testament that Jesus often withdrew to what they call a desolate place, but that could easily be translated as a quiet place. And so we hope that the quiet place is a place that you can come to for that same refreshing to be an authentic follower of Jesus, to be encouraged to love Horsham or your community and commission to advance the kingdom. So whether you're joining us on Facebook, YouTube, or if you're connecting via the Quiet Place podcast, you are very welcome as we delve into chapter seven for this episode. There are two things here I really want us to consider. And the first is about abiding, about being hidden in Christ. Let's read from verse three of chapter seven. Jesus' brothers said to him, leave here and go to Judea where your followers can see your miracles. You can't become famous if you hide like this. If you can do such wonderful things, show yourself to the world. For even his brothers didn't believe in him. Jesus replied, now is not the right time for me to go, but you can go any time. The world can't hate you, but it does hate me because I accuse it of doing evil. You go on. I'm not going to go to this festival because my time has not yet come. After saying these things, Jesus remained in Galilee. (laughs) I love that phrase his brothers say. You can't become famous if you hide like this. And the reality is that Jesus had no issue with living in obscurity. He had no problem being hidden. And there is something of hiddenness when I think about abiding. When Jesus says, abide in me, later on in John chapter 15, there's also a sense of of us being hidden in Christ. Paul puts it like this to the Colossians in Colossians 3.13. For you died to this life and your real life is hidden with Christ in God. There are seasons for every purpose under heaven. Ecclesiastes tells us that. There's a season for hiddenness and there's a season to be seen. But just like Jesus, we're not to be grasping for it. John 7 verse 6, Jesus replied, Now is not the right time for me to go, but you can go any time. Jesus realised that his time was not the same as someone else's time. They were free to go, but he would not allow their season to determine his He would not allow their timescales to accelerate his. It's actually a dangerous place to be when we turn up somewhere before the Holy Spirit because we've accelerated to a season of being seen before the Holy Spirit is. Jesus did not need to accelerate his season because he knew that there was a time for every purpose under heaven. And so he was content with the season he was in, knowing he was exactly where the father wanted him to be, doing exactly what the father wanted him to be doing, which in some seasons is nothing. How do you respond to a season of obscurity? What are you like when the Holy Spirit wants you hidden and you want to be famous? How do you respond when you want to be doing amazing things for God, but God wants you in a season of obscurity rather than fame? I believe actually that this is a word for someone today. You're frustrated that nothing is working out. You had high hopes of influence for the kingdom. You had high hopes of making a difference for God. But instead, you find yourself in obscurity. Maybe you're not in an influential job or you've lost a job of influence and you're now in obscurity. I believe the Holy Spirit would say to you in this season, I have this season for hiddenness. The hopes I have in your heart are from me, but don't race ahead of me. Even if you get the position I have for you, you will fail if you get there before I do. So lean into this season that you are in. Find contentment in this time of hiddenness. And if that's you, I pray that you will learn how to uh, do well in this time of obscurity. There's wisdom actually in that word for all of us. Contentment's not a word we use much, but it's a good biblical principle and a good biblical word. Paul puts it like this in Philippians 4.11. I've learned in whatever situation I am to be content. I know how to be brought low and I know how to abound. In any and every circumstance, I've learned the secret of facing plenty and hunger, abundance and need. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. For me, that includes learning to be content in fame and in obscurity, in usefulness or hiddenness too. I know just like Jesus uh, did in verse 8, that my time has not yet come. The other thing I want to draw out from this chapter is Jesus' apostolic call. 
in verse 14 to 30, there are five or six times where Jesus refers to being sent. In verse 16, the father who sent me is with me. Verse 29, and the one who sent me is with me. He, he, he repeats that at least four other times. There are loads of times. And this word apostolic in Jesus' time mean sent one. And here we see Jesus knowing that he was sent. And the reality is, is that Jesus commissioned, commissioned us, his church. He sent us. And as a result of that, we are now an apostolic people. We are sent ones. Jesus said this to his disciples and by extension to us in John 20 verse 21. As the Father has sent me, so I am sending you. We are, by that definition, sent ones. We are an apostolic people. And as such, we, we, we need to seek not our own glory. We're not to seek a spotlight for ourselves or our own fame in ministry, but we're to seek his fame. We're to make much of his name. We're to make a name for him, not a name for ourselves. John 17 verse 18, uh, Jesus said, Those who speak for themselves want glory uh, only for themselves, but a person who seeks to honour the one who sent him speaks the truth not lies. So today let's consider what season are we in? Is it a season of hiddenness and obscurity? And if it is, let's be content and rest in the Holy Spirit. But if he is bringing us into the spotlight, let's be sure that we know that it's Jesus' fame that lies before us. The Holy Spirit is looking to make him famous, not us. So let me pray for you today. I want to pray particularly for those in obscurity. Heavenly Father, I want to pray for those who may have lost jobs uh, of influence who have, or may be desiring jobs of influence or positions of influence, Lord, for good reasons, for your glory and not their own fame, but they find themselves in, in a place of hiddenness or obscurity right now. I pray, Lord, would you give them the grace to be in that season with you through the Holy Spirit? Would you give them grace to learn what it is to thrive in obscurity and hiddenness uh, as you prepare them for all that lies ahead? And Lord, I pray for those who find themselves in the spotlight, those who find themselves uh, in places of influence. Lord, would you let each one of them, me included, know, Lord, it's about your fame. It's about you and not about us or our position or, 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 or visibility. I pray, Lord, keep us humble. We want to be those who speak the truth. Help us, I pray today in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Well, all that remains is for me to say God bless. And hey, don't forget to tell someone about Jesus today. Bless you. Have a great day.